apologize unless you in my reads and remember as a child I hit it cause Yo, I it's the road so fucking oh, 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 that, that, that team in the playoffs. Damn, that team in the playoffs. What's going on, man? Rogie. I ain't even going to say that. Oh, why I said we go Rogie to the Eagles, man, because that boy's in the playoffs. I can, you know, I can see you in a good mood, so I ain't even got to ask you. Oh. Oh, yeah. I, I, look, I, I ain't going to host you. Big Ben gone. Okay. Still Shout out to Big Ben. I about to say Big Ben a legend. Though. We ain't gonna yeah. Salute to my man, Shorty. You done got us two rings. I appreciate you wholeheartedly. But it's time for you to go, my boy. Time to go. It's time to go. You done threw forty eight passes for hundred yards, my boy. It's time to go. No, no, but straight up, man. Like, what's the what's the topics for us today, man? Man, first thing we want to do is do what the media outlets ain't doing. We need to talk about how the lady just lame Maxwell got convicted of them sex trafficking charges with Jeffrey Jeffrey Epstein, man. You mm. know, uh, like, it's just crazy that, like, like she got convicted and, like, it seems like nobody's talking about it. Like, somebody with this much power and somebody who was in a position under, you know, Jeffrey Epstein was a big-ass nigga, you know what I mean? Right. Like, well, he ain't no small fry at all. Right. No. She was she was his assistant tied to sex trafficking charges, you know what I mean? And then she's they said she got uh indicted on four other counts of other charges as well. It's like golly. She this says um this is the AP News. It says that um this cap the diverted cap the month-long trial featuring sorted accounts of sexual exploitation of girls as young as 14 told by four women who described being abused as teens in the 1990s and early 2000s at Epstein's palatial homes in Florida, New York, and New Mexico. Like, that's and it. Then, and then it's like, congressmen knew about this shit. Like, it's congressmen tied into the shit too, like. And that's the thing, it's crazy, the power of like, like you would think they, they, they were here to protect us, make laws, make sure that we all good. Motherfucker, y'all this dirty as them. Sex trafficking, like, like come girls, on, though. Because and you, you want to know the main thing. You remember when all them girls went missing in D.C.? And that was a crazy thing. That was like, oh, And geez. then it's like, what, what happened? What happened? Missing girls in D.C. Like, and, they- that, and, that, and that is a great question, right? Everybody was missing. Everybody was being alerted. And it's just like, it vanished. Like, nothing else is talked about at that point. Like, it's and not it's, a pressing issue. It's like they discarded so much. Like, it don't matter that, like, kids are going missing or teens are being, you know, molested. But, you know what I mean? That's what we got a platform for because, like, we need to, like, talk about that shit. Gee, shit, shit is sick out here, man. And then they even said that um Maxwell, that's the lady name. I don't want to mess up her for I don't know. Was it just Lane? I be saying just Lane. Whatever. Just Lane. Okay. We, we don't even G- give a fuck G- if we fucking yeah, up. Yeah, I was say she G Maxwell. Yeah, G Maxwell, just Lane Maxwell. That little whore, she real life had somebody in a jury stand who even came out as well and said that they were sexually abused. And they had to go get, they went to go get a lawyer and stuff. So at that point, you can kind of see the effect that they had on people. Right. That's not that. Coincidentally, the person who's on in the jury is somebody you didn't fuck with. And right. now it's going to bite you in the hand. It's going to bite you for real. And they're trying to say that it's like a conflict of interest, but it's like, man, all these people... Like I said, now there's situations where people are innocent, but yeah. like sex trafficking to me is a specific thing. Like, I don't think most people get like sex trafficking uh charges like on a regular. Like, I don't think that's a charge that you know that's common. So yeah. if you in that shit, like there has to be some kind of concrete evidence that is you know that's held against you. Yeah, yeah, that's held against you. That you know you with that shit. This is not a common law, and the thing is. Let's hold these like white men, all the all the, you know, all these white, not even men, just the white people and people of other co- color, whatever the case is, hold them to that same standard, bro. Yeah, we got black right. people that get like, let's be real, we got athletes catching charges with these white women and catching the Ray Talk fucking up their whole lives, and that shit get blowing up everywhere. But and and then it be false. We have motherfuckers who are actually out here snatching up these little girls and using them for sex, or using Damn. them sexually for their own gain. Ain't nobody talking about them. Nobody want to talk about it. That shit is sick, man. I ain't going to lie. That shit is sick. But like, it's just, first, let's rogue because we yeah. about to get into it, man. 
God grandma. Let's get to it. Man, it just goes to show the privilege. Because the thing is, she's 60 years old. Like, they've been probably been doing this for years, bro. Like, they got caught in their later years. And it goes to show, like, if you're offering um, something of value to the economy, I ain't going to hold you straight. You you protected. G shit. Because I ain't going to lie. We all know what's going on with my boy. What my boy say? Super gremlin. Uh, I'm super gremlin. Super gremlin. Because I'm super gremlin. Nah. Man. We can talk about you. that, bro. Cause I ain't gonna hold you. I'm tired of this AB shit. I'm so if go. it's not one thing, here we go. Not, here we go. Go ahead. Call, him, call it what you want. Spade, like G shit, right? We all know the situation where he basically he said he walked out the game. Let's say that we know that for sure. He took off his pads, he took off his uniform, threw it all in the stands, peaced out to everybody, he gone and he trapping in New York. And that's say you know he co of the next game. Cool. Then, you know, the story about what transpired is different because you got his side and then you got Bruce Arian's side. And this is where it gets a little tricky. Right. AB, AB is saying that Bruce Arians, who's the head coach, if y'all don't know, told him to get into the game. AB told him he can't play because he's he's, in, he's still injured. And he and the, uh, and the coach told him, either you're going to play or you're going to get the fuck off my team. And AB chose his help and said, you know what, fuck this, and did all this extra shit. Now, there's another story that Bruce, that AB was upset and then told Bruce Arians, like, oh, you know, y'all ain't targeting me the ball. You know, I ain't about to play this shit. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, and then Bruce Arians, like, get the fuck up. There's a lot of different reports coming out. I heard a that. lot of different reports. So let me ask you this first. Uh, which report do you think is, like, Violet or whatever the case is. Let me first ask man, you. Man, first of all, this nigga DJ's mad that AB left Steelers. Nigga sick as shit. I ain't even like, I ain't and that he don't follow him. Y'all, he don't follow him. AB was following him and he gutted. He nah, hey, nah, he was following me on Twitter and I'm good shit. He don't follow. I tweeted one I thing about to say, didn't follow So he saw I was good shit. Don't, don't listen but nah, to me. I'm biased to be speaking G shit. It's not that. It's not because he left the Steelers. You can't be unbiased because it's personal. It's not, I'm not. All the personal shit out. <laughs> all the personal shit out. But real life, looking at it, fool, G shit. I'll be, I ain't even mad you let the Steelers. I'm just mad that you keep doing shit and then you keep dropping this dumbass music. This, Why? This, Look, this is this is my thing, right? AB is doing what every any well, excuse me, anybody who's talented in America is doing. Like, there's a lot of people of the other race who are constantly in the media for things that are, you know, bad or whatever the case may be. But if they can sing a song or if they can, um, you know, do whatever. If they are an asset, they find ways to get them work again. And at the end of the day, AB is constantly showing that is the fact in America. AB recorded your whole, recorded your whole fucking uh, 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 post-game jump. Yeah, and then it that. goes to the Raiders and called a nigga a cracker. Still gets a job. He goes yeah. to New England after that. Gets fucked over. You know what I mean? Don't have to play. Come back. Still gets a job. Then gets a Super Bowl and gets a touchdown in the Super Bowl. So he's just showing you that, look, I'm productive. You can say what you want about my behavior. I get results. And that's what America cares about. Results. They don't See, give a fuck about that. But let's think about it, right? And let's really break it down. Because he didn't get all the chances like that. I would say the last two chances didn't come as easy, right? First two with Pittsburgh, and that can, and it threw me off while he was doing all this extra shit. It is what it is. And then he left saying stuff about Juju, about Big Ben. He tried to expose Juju because Juju DM'd him trying to be nice, but that's need to hear there. He left them on bad terms, and he went to the Raiders. He had the little uh, episode with the helmet. Oh, I'm not about to play if they make me change the helmet. A helmet is a, a brand is offer you money to just wear my helmet. He's just like being a diva. Oh, uh, ooh, X, Y, and Z. Then he gets kicked off the Raiders. Now, Brady, and this is what I'm saying. Like, this is where it got me go. Brady went out went to the way. Patriots after the Raiders, though. That's no, that's what I'm saying. But Brady was on the Patriots. Brady made sure he went to go get AB. He, he put him in his house, like he was in a uh, Tom Brady's house. Then. That didn't work out. What happened? Brady goes to Tampa. Now he didn't pull strings. And Bruce Arians did not want him there. Yeah, he, didn't he didn't want those problems. 
Now, Brady went out his way to bring A.B. aboard, stay, let him stay at his house. And granted, they won a championship. But I mean, why, though? Like, do you see my point? No, no, Ty, like, no, no, no. The Tyler they're going to speak for itself all the time. I'm going to tell you why I'm frustrated. Because people are doing so much and give you so many chances, and you keep fucking up. Like, I want to see you in the field. You too talented of a receiver to be acting like this. To me, not to act like this, but like to be keeping yourself from off the field. Now, everything that's transpiring, you keep removing yourself off. That's why it's so frustrating. But this one right here, it's like, I don't know, because I don't want to like, now it's he say, she say. It's no truth to it. It's no fact that can, nobody else is bringing up any fact or helping support the, the evidence. Because AB is saying he left because of that. Who's Aaron saying he left because of this? And that shit is just so frustrating. But, but you are right. If you talented, you get any fucking chance in America. Rogie, because look, I'm trying to get a little more lit because I'm about to go. I'm about to get up there. You, you, on, you, you, you slipping. Oh, no. You know that. Was it Terramana? That thing catch up on you. Because look, you remember, obviously, we all know the Johnny Manziel story. We all know Johnny Manziel. Okay. Now this is the this is this is the difference right now. Johnny Manziel was getting chances after chance while he was having uh you know belligerent behavior, right? In the NFL like, or college? in the NFL, even in the NFL. Now nah, them first two seasons, bro, he shouldn't have been playing after all the stuff he was doing, partying, disorderly conduct, all that stuff. He shouldn't have been playing. But the reason why he doesn't have a job now is because he's not he wasn't producing though. See, the thing about it is like. Even with Kyrie Irving right now, we seeing it straight up. Kyrie no, Irving, no, now, now Kyrie he Irving is not, thing. he is not a, you know, as far as like, he ain't go as far as, um, you know, he's AD not distracting the team. antics. Like he's not trying to be a distraction. He's but not complying. He wasn't complying with the protocol, but they know them bulls is coming. The bucks is coming. Man. They healthy. The and we are in the business of winning a championship. Like they are, basketball is about winning championships. Right. You didn't ever really give a fuck about this vaccination process? Hell no. They're like, Kyrie, you gonna play road games? And you see, he, he, first game back, nigga haven't touched the floor yet. Like nigga ain't touched the floor in months. And he got 22 points, four assists, two steals. Right, dude, now, obviously right, it's not right. Kyrie numbers, but for your first game. For your first game for average. That ain't bad. AB, AB came right back off of being out of the games for uh probably like three games with, I guess, with that, I guess with the fake uh COVID shit, fake COVID test and shit. Um, 10 catches and 100 yards. Like the production is all people now, care production about. production will always be there. It will always be there. But the thing now, is, I'll go, I'm sorry, go ahead. I was just gonna say, bro. Like, I the reason why I I encourage it is because I see other races doing it, and they don't get you know as much like backlash from it as we do. I just think because he's I ain't gonna lie, he's swaggier with it. To me, nigga, real took his shit off, and like he has an iconic picture now. Like that joint is a meme. Like I think it's a meme, but this is the thing though. It's not a meme for a good thing though. You didn't do something. Like you look stupid. You look crazy. You he look does. Wild. I mean, you look wild as shit. Like G shit. Like at the moment, we all loving it. Cause damn nigga, you went buck. But why are we loving it? We loving it cause you burnt the fuck out. Cause you actually did that mid game. High school niggas don't even do that off of attitude. And and granted, I do understand what you're saying. The other race. Yeah, they definitely do that. When they got tired in that time, they get a little bit smack on the hand. But like, and this is and sad then to say this is not like you saying a bad example for other people who follow your footsteps, bro. Cause Let's G-shit, talk about that though. Like, 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 and I understand you saying like in the past, yeah, people can do that, they can get off with that. But as a black man, we don't have not even black black people in general, we don't have many opportunity chances. Not even the point. Yeah, we don't really get chances. We don't get a lot of chances, getting- right? He's gotten all these chances. And and that's cool. And that's great. And that's cool and stuff. But let's make the most of it. You know what I'm saying? And open doors for others. Now you're doing all these antics. Now you let motherfuckers follow that. They're going to think that's okay. That's acceptable. As long as I'm, just like you just said, as long as I'm good and I can play good, I can do all this bullshit. I can do all these little antics and then charge into the game. This and that's just my love for the game. No. No, no, no. Granted. I'm good. My bad. No, I was just going to say, like, I ain't saying that that's the right way to do it. I ain't saying that, yeah, like, if you're producing, that means show your ass. But if you are 
showing your ass, you better be producing. No, for sure, for sure. Like, then- because if that's, 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 that's how it works. Like, that's how it works in America, like dead ass. Like we see rappers all the time. If you can make a label a lot of money, you're not gonna serve a lot of jail time. You're not gonna serve as much jail time. Bro, you know what I mean? In charges people have been indicted Shout out to Pooh. I ain't gonna hold you. Pooh lawyer got him what he was gonna get. I mean, he was about to get life, got. but now he got eight. He was about to get life. I know, no, 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 granted, granted. He definitely about to get life if he if he keeps trying to plead that guilty, them niggas like play again, play again. We're gonna get your ass that life for real. Come on. Respect. That's respect. the point. When you when you are because even still, like, bro, Bobby Smurder went in for seven years, came out and got money. Cause at the time, like he was one of the he had one of the biggest songs. Like Money Dance was our whole college. Like that was our whole college experience. That was our whole no, not called high school. Oh, I mean, that was high school, college shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. High, yeah definitely high school. You know, yeah, you, I'm yeah. just saying as far as like the production aspect, like when you producing Kodak Black, how many times have we, he was exonerated by Donald Trump. Yeah, I don't, yeah. To, to this I, day, I, I, I don't get, know how. Yeah, I literally would give you that. You got I'm a rogue to that. You yeah, got a rogue to that. G shit, Cause Kodak don't even know how. Yeah, Kodak Black was exonerated by Trump. And I can't even say it's just because he makes good music because obviously he makes good music, but Donald Trump knows who he is. Like that's what the production part of it goes into. Like he knows who Kodak Black is. I don't know how, I doubt he listens to any song, but it's just like, bro, when you produce and you get them chances. And I think what, what I'm trying to say is that to the black people, like, since we don't get chances, this is the way you get chances. If you, if you are, if you, if you want second chances in life, because we always talk about that. We always talk about how we don't get the second chance or how we only got one chance. Now, yes, our time, you know, is valuable and we can't really make mistakes, but when you are producing, you can make certain mistakes, but this is your asset. But then, but I'm going to, I'm going to let you, I'm going to, this time I'm going to break it down though. And it depends on the different industries as well that you're dealing with. That too. Because yes. AB is a black athlete. He's messing up. But if he messes up, that's not going to shut the door for another black male after him. Because football is predominantly a black, like, let me be being real, predominantly mm-hmm. black sport where black athletes are, like, prevailing. And, like, if we not being racist, not being stereotypical, I'm being real. Most I mean, times. Bro, know, like, the nah, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, black. like, yeah. Most times the white man, like, it's just the quarterback. You know what I'm saying? G shit, or lineman, or, lineman. Or, lineman, or linebacker, but we get or, it, we get it. Yeah, you get the point. You're not no receiver, right? And like G shit, it's hard to find somebody with your skills. So yes, the producing do work. The production does say a lot, but like it's not gonna close doors on no other black person because like we just produce overall. We just very productive in that field in that category. But like other streams or other type of things, like even if you producing. I can find another motherfucker that can produce just like you. So I don't give a fuck about your production. You fucking up. I can get you out of there. No, you can't. Because certain, in, that, certain, certain industries. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Let's look at Kanye West. That nigga said George Bush doesn't care about black people. That's that a nigga has industry, bro. That's a different Bro, industry. he's in fashion, music. Uh, 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 but you talking about a nigga who has had a, his hand on the culture for years. You can't just like, you're not going to obviously replace him like that. Like, I'm saying, but, I, but, but I, what I more so what I'm saying is, okay, I, I didn't mean it as like, yeah, you can beat Kanye. I ain't, I ain't saying like that. Right. I'm saying that, like you said, due to what he's done, he's not going anywhere. And that is the point you got to get to. Like, you got to work your ass off because it's harder for us. It's harder for black people, straight up. You know, we all know the circumstances of what it is. Because you got to work extra harder, we always knew that. But you got to work harder for that privilege that we want, that we deserve. Yeah. Straight up. We deserve to make mistakes because that's the problem. Black people ain't allowed to make mistakes. We're not allowed to make mistakes. We're the only culture that can't. Real deal. We're the only culture that are not allowed to make mistakes. But the thing is, ironically, not, not to cut you off. No, go ahead. But 
And and my fact, before we get into that topic, and and and, and I do want to circle back on specifically if A B and stuff will be back in the league, but we only hold ourselves like we only cancel ourselves. You think about it, our culture will be quick to cancel ourselves, like our own culture, our, our own selves, individuals. Like if you really sit there and think about it, because we don't call we don't cancel a lot of white people, we, we don't, don't cancel. A lot of like other people, but when it comes to our own people, that motherfucker say one like, thing. Like, everybody quick to bye bye, you know. Yeah, he gone. Motherfucking t- like Tory Lane. Rogue you to that man, yeah. real deal. Cause we gotta yeah. stop that shit. That shit goofy as hell. Unless I want to circle back on that topic too, but I just wanted this before I forget. The question is, if AB gonna be back in the league or not? Right. Yes. I personally don't think AB is going to be back in the league. I'll bet you. Not this year. Not, not, I mean, of course, not the duration of this year. However, I'll say he not this year, but next year. I mean, not next year, but like the year after. Maybe in the year after, the season after, next season. And the only reason why is because they had, he has a history of just keep attacking coaches and on people who okay. are desperate, they might put a gun. If Bro, you know, Jerry Jones will go get Antonio Brown. Don't get it twisted. My fact, my fact, you do, and you do have these owners. Yeah, G C because Jerry Jones will get he went to get Randy Gregory. World. He went to get uh who the you other car? I got trial. you. Imagine I got you. You want a hose? I got five on one. Hold you. Uh I nah, I ain't about to be putting black brothers down, but I just know. That Jerry Jones done got a lot of niggas who was in trouble. I ain't gonna expose y'all because y'all the black man, so fuck it. You know. I know, I know what you're talking about too, but that I, I don't know. But I ain't gonna hold you. I know Jerry Jones be getting Zeke out them drug tests because that nigga. Bro, be- not even just a drug test. Zeke Zeke was literally on trial mid season. He was literally. You don't remember that he was out that one season that Dak had to play without Zeke. And they was losing. I think he was out for the first eight, nine games because yeah. of that trial he was in. Yeah, I forgot about that. Legit. He going to get him. He going to get him good. Nobody nobody talks about that. No more. That is gone. See, but I don't know about this next season, though. And the only reason why is because I think Roger Goodell might have something to say about that. Roger Goodell is getting money from the NF. Like, Antonio Brown, like, watching him on the field is going to make people watch. He's the no, no, one, no, no. He's the number one topic right now. In the a, I mean, granted, it's gonna make people watch, but maybe that one game. But after that, it's gonna be all because I'm not gonna lie. The A B impact on the Steelers is the different with the A B impact with it, Tampa. Is no, you, you're right. It is different. A B's impact with the Steelers was more so remarkable as far as like historic numbers. His impact with the Bucks is his buzz and drama. It's not his even buzzing. Yeah. His drama is going to make you watch the the bucks, and that's why you're important. That is why he's not cut. He's not. He's of, only he, no. He's, he's cut. He's, he's cut. not cut. He's cut. I'm telling you. Where where does so, he release him today? Cut. Where? Hold on, hold on, because 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 he. Don't I need to know. I, I I didn't hear that he was released today. Let's right, see. I got you. I got you. I got you. Hold on. Give me one second. I'm gonna find it for you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Keep talking now. I'm gonna find it for you. There we go. Oh, because he called out uh, Arian's trainer? Bucks. Oh, Brady. Oh, okay. So they finally released him. That's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, the thing is, and then, but this is why I don't think not next season. He's still going to get a job next season. No, I mean, hear me out. I don't think next season, and if it is very late and then somebody desperately needs somebody, because everywhere you went, you've pointed at everybody else, but not yourself. You've never not one time held yourself accountable. But you know what they seen last year? What? They seen him get a Super Bowl and score a touchdown in the Bruh, Super Bowl. Brady had but Jerry Jones. Know. Jerry I Jones talk will about get that team. Michael Gallup just went out. Why won't Jerry Jones gonna get him? You think if Dallas, if say if say if Dallas lose to us next this week, right? Say if Dallas lose to us this week, you don't think they'll sign Antonio Brown for the no. playoffs? No. You high as hell. No, they not. Remember, I all, said that too. First of all, you not they not losing to y'all. Second Even of all, if they don't, don't you want to win the Super Bowl? Listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm just saying. They literally went toe-to-toe with some of the best teams without Michael Gallup. Bro, they've lost every game against a good team. Yeah, you want to go fact-check it since you're on their dick? 
goofy ass nigga. They lost uh, to the Cardinals. Look at y'all. Look at y'all. NFL, NFC East yeah. niggas. Y'all niggas be so fucking. Oh man, I can't even talk to y'all niggas, dog. Y'all niggas, y'all yeah, niggas want to jump out this. Nah, that's the one team everybody I fucking be on the hate Cowboys is the Eagles fan base. Everybody want to be on the Cowboys dick. Niggas like him. Everybody want to be on the Cowboys. He is still his fan. Want to stand up for the Cowboys? Stop being I didn't on their dick. Stand up for him. Bitch, you, you is you on their dick. How? You on their line? You ain't even still a fucking Cowboys fan. You talking about something? They 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 beat all nigga. No, they haven't. They lost to the Cardinals. They lost to the Raiders. Nah, that they was lost to. They man. lost to the Chiefs. Disappointing L. That's the Come on, man! I Watch out, out, man! Get out I, of here! I'm, I'm looking at it. they beat the they beat the Patriots. They Nigga, beat they beat the early Patriots before they went on their run, man. Watch they beat out, the Chargers. Man. Come on, the Chargers is they might not like even make the playoffs. I like the Chargers. I like the Chargers. Like they the might not make the Chargers. Just lost. Who they just lose to the Texans, man? Come on, man! It's lost to the Texans. The Buccaneers is lost to Washington. Nigga, but the Buccaneers is, is in the playoffs, nigga. They clinched they division. Bro, but you, look, you, I hate when niggas say arguments and then I just use the same day with the in the playoffs. Shut the hell up. That don't even matter. It's still the Chargers beat the aren't even, but that's it not. It don't the matter. Point. They still, you keep naming who they lost. Like to I play. said, AB could have a job soon just because he liked that. Right in oh, yeah, Let's get back to that point. Let's get back to that point. Cause you, right in doubt. Yeah, we get rowdy with the football. But I ain't going to hold you. I don't think you're going to have a job. And, I, I don't not yet because this is what I want to say. You had beef with you had beef with who Big Ben, who's your quarterback, who that's need to hear there. Big Ben, I forgot what else. Juju, you went to the Ray, and then Mike Tomlin. Then you went to the Raiders. Then you had beef with Derek Carr was like invited you over to his house with his kids, all that, just to get to know you. Disrespected that man. You uh, you said you disrespected the owners. I don't know. I don't know what. No, that was that was the next thing. No, you disrespected the owner on this team too, and the head coach. Head coach, I can see. Fuck John Gruden. Next nigga, next team, Patriots. You disrespect Robert Kraft. I mean Robert Kraft saying. I mean he called you uh, he called him. No, you called him the uh the Ritz. You called them the Ritz. You know. No, he uh, called the nigga the, the owner of the Raiders. He ain't called Roger Goodell the cracker. I said, I said, I said, I said, Robert Kraft, the owner of the Patriots. Oh, oh, he ain't call him a cracker. He was talking about the Raiders owner. He called him now, a cracker. You sure he ain't talking about Robert Kraft? Yeah, he ain't, Robert Kraft, you know, he he with the bros. He be with Meek Mill and shit. He, don't, he ain't gonna call oh, he him. Be with the, oh, he be with the bros. Yeah, you feel He be with Meek Mill and shit. Well, regardless of the fact, everywhere you had, right, is you had issues with everybody on staff. And then you just left the last recent team, you have an issue with the owner and stuff of that nature. Now, the thing, what I'm just saying is, if you have owners with, if you have problems, and there's everybody inside the organization that's key members and shit, if you a good team and y'all doing pretty good without him, I don't want those issues around my life. Obviously, if you're doing good, like he's right. gonna get- I said somebody get, desperate. Yeah, he's gonna. There's desperate. It's the NFL. It's a money making business. Everybody's desperate. Right now, I I didn't say he won't. I don't see him not getting back. I just don't see him next year. And if it is next year, next season, it's gonna be late next season. Later, later when somebody's really struggling. This is this is my main point. I'm just happy to see that a black dude is. Yes, he's acting like a complete jackass. Okay, Antonio Brown is being an asshole. He is doing too much. He's, he should, you know what I mean, chill out. But who gives a fuck, man? This is the one time I'm seeing a, a nigga real, this this like when OJ got acquitted, man, real deal. Like you seeing, you seeing a, a nigga act like an ass and 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 he and he's still gonna get a job. Rogie did that, Rogie, this nigga said, OJ, good night. I need whatever he done, let me pull up some more. That man said, OJ, good night. I hold OJ was a little bit too far, but you get the picture. That was OC. <laughs> that was OC. <laughs> but nah, I ain't gonna hold But you. nah, we all know what OJ look that you, you wanna know why that was the biggest because we like seriously, just a small glimpse on that. That was the biggest case ever, like literally the biggest case ever as far as an entertainer, because a black man won. That's the point. You have to have the production. He's a Hall of Famer. He's OJ, the juice man. He was the biggest thing ever. He went to USC, then he went and dominated in the NFL. Nigga was loved, beloved. 
See, Real deal. And I'm not even saying, once again, I'm never excusing their behavior. I'm not excusing their behavior. But what I'm talking about is the chances, man. Black people don't get them chances. And I can respect that, but I don't want us to try to get those chances. And granted, I know the overall message you're saying. As long as you're producing, you're doing something, we can get those chances. You know yeah, what I'm saying? like, that's all stuff. I want. I want, I want, I want black people to be able to make mistakes. I'm not Correct. talking about OJ Simpson as far as like, you know, the murder trial and shit like that. I'm just talking about it from a general standpoint. I want black people to be able to make mistakes and you can only make mistakes if your production is consistent. And, let's talk, and, and, and then I wanted to kind of like circle back on when you said the production of, um, we were, we were referencing the production, no, not even production, about black people doing actions and that we get canceled, but other people don't, right? And it really is our own people and stuff like that. And we probably we talked about it before already, you know, granted. But it's just like, do you think that AB will be like a factor of that cancel culture? Because I, I personally don't think he will. Because that motherfucker made it this far with, with going on people. Bro, I don't if, he, he, if he ain't get canceled yet, do you, you see my point? Like, he already went beyond like as far as like professional uh boundaries he's broke them the nigga recorded y'all fucking post game oh my gosh yeah that like was literally sick. recorded y'all post game on facebook live and talked about his catches then the nigga real went and went on juju posted their messages then the nigga called the owner of the motherfucking raiders a cracker and it's like, and it's like, G shit. I'm just scared. I just don't want the next generation thing. That shit cool. You know what I'm saying? Because he is the best receiver, and you gonna have a lot of motherfuckers look up to you. And I don't. And and, and a lot of these kids, they easy monkey see monkey do. Because you look at all these motherfuckers that want to be young boy. But see, this is the thing though. This is what's gonna. One thing I can always say about AB, and this is the consistent thing, and that's what I want. You know, niggas to realize. Like, I work though. I do my antics, but I work. Um, I'm working every day. I'm producing. They need me. That's why I'm here. Literally, that's what that's the position you gotta be in. Like they need me. I ain't, and that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying act like an asshole. I ain't telling you to go be a dickhead and go do some stupid shit. Right. Like I said, I just want people to be my people, black people, to be able to make mistakes. Straight up, we don't, Rogi, man. No, you are you right? Cause I ain't gonna lie, we don't have the same opportunity. At, ah, sorry, we don't have the same. That's it. We do not have the same opportunity <laughs> to make mistakes like the other culture. The thing is, every mistake that we have is magnified. It's, it is amplified. It's because, real bro, life. Think about it, D. You know how many people we seen? You know what I mean? Like legit, like. I, I, the first time I, like, you you know, I ain't gonna call our man name out, but it was a friend of ours, like, legit, like, bruh, had, um, went in for a felony charge, um, for weed, right? He, he caught a felony charge for weed, but due to that felony, when he came out, he was trying to get a job, and all they seen was the felony. Like, a lot of people didn't want to give him a second chance because mm -hmm. that felony was on his record. And the thing is, they get you in the system. You get that felony on your record, and you stuck in that system too. Stuck, cause like no funny. Like my man, like uh, out here, he was trying to get a crib. You know, we was gonna get. A, he was trying to get a two bedroom and stuff like that. And I, I, I just don't like two bedrooms. I just don't like roommates. So I'd rather just get <laughs> one bedroom, kick it. But I did the one bedroom thing. He trying to get the little spot. He like, damn, yeah, that shit fell through. I'm like, what's going on? I forgot I got this felony, just like, you know, the same thing, weed. And that's one thing they need to go ahead and just let that shit off. Y'all got motherfuckers going. Y'all got Einstein. What's the, what's the nigga name? Uh, Einstein. Just out here. Harvey Weinstein. Just out here just doing this bullshit. And you giving motherfuckers. Epstein and all that shit. Epstein, yeah, yeah my bad. I don't, and I mess up their names. I really, like, it's certain people I really don't even want to remember. I don't even want to, like, think about because that shit real life is OC. But like you giving all these black people all these harsh ass. Nah, man, but that's another episode for another day. That's yeah. another episode for another day, right there. Because we could really go into that, but you know, 
That's I think this was good though, man. Like because at the end of the day, for real, like for one, just Lane Maxwell and all them wild ass motherfucking officials and all these people, y'all are sick, and y- you guys are fucking disturbing. And I pray that you know, what I mean, like this shit just get better for who all the kids who was sex traffic throwing and shit like that. Like, I just pray that you know whatever you know, just God just I, I, man, that shit is crazy. No, you you right, man, and and you hit on the note right there, man. We just hope everybody, you know, recover well. We have we finally like just crack down on the people who need to be get hit at, and uh, and again, leave this episode like this. Like there is second chances for us, but we gotta show that production. We gotta show that it's worth that uh, second chance. That Rogie did that, man. Rogie did that, man. Listen. Can't touch unless you in my reason. Remember as a child, I hated Christmas. That's the worst season. The only gift I ever got was freedom. I never really worry about my 